Okay, uh, this is how we set up our uh, data collector. Uh, I have uh, a traverse, so I have four monuments, which you should have uh, adjusted coordinates for now. And one of the first things we need to do is input uh, our adjusted northing, eastings, and any elevations that we may have for uh, these four monuments in our, uh, our data collector. So probably one of the easiest ways for you to do is go to the points menu, list coordinates, say all, and now they're all listed. And then you can simply highlight that and go to file, print text, As soon as the computer decides, there we go. Go to lab printer, and I can print that off. So now I have an actual paper copy of my coordinates and elevations. So, one of the next things we're going to do, and I have that written down here, I'm just going to enter two, but you will normally enter all four of your coordinates into your data collector. So, before you even hook it up to the instrument and get out in the field, we must do this. We have to get things started. So, when you get your data collector out, some are monochrome screen, some are color. This happens to be one of the older ones, but they will all work identical. One of the first things you have to do is open up the Survey Pro. And it's a touch screen function in this particular one below. Difficult. I'll get it to go here in a minute. I just have to find a sweet spot. There it goes. Most of the data collectors open up readily when you hit the icon. This one I say for demonstration purposes because it's a little difficult. And if you use a, a pencil or a pen, make sure you have the lead and the ballpoint uh, extracted inside so that you're not writing all over this. So, if you're going to create a job, you can click on New. If you click on New, then you can name it. So, I'm going to call this one Doug. And on the keypad, you should be able to see numbers and or letters. Uh, unfortunately, these are not like a, a, a keypad on a, a typewriter. They're alphabetical, so I sometimes have difficulty in hunting up the letters. So, we'll get back to the uh, screen so that you can see what I'm doing. And once I have created the job by name, and you want to name it uh, uh, something that you'll be able to uh, find in the future. And also, the data collectors have a number on them. If you look on the bottom of the yellow ones, you'll find a big number and you want to record in your field book what locker you got it out of and what data collector you have by number because your file will only be on your data collector. So, then we're going to say next. There it goes. And you should get this screen. Northern azimuth feet degrees. Uh, we're not going to uh, adjust for curvature of the earth or uh, anything like that because your quad is way too small to even worry about that. So then we go next. And uh, these are, uh, you may find some coordinates that will pop up. Uh, uh, if I go back to uh, uh, my printed uh, text, I do have uh, coordinate 11. So you can highlight these, and uh, this will be your first coordinate. So uh, I want to make sure that my coordinates are correct. These are already correct, but I'll re-enter them just to show you. So I'm going to go 9523.123 as a northing, and then you click down on the easting and you plug that value in. And the elevation, the same, you highlight that, you can change that, and then at the bottom of the description, you can use alphanumerical values, so this is CP11 for point number 11. Up in the point name, just put the number. 
done unless I finish. And then I need to go to job menu and edit coordinates, edit points. And you can see I now have my first coordinate entered. And it has northing, easting, and elevation and description. So I want to insert a point. So we're now going to put in point 12 will be fine. And I go to location. Here I'm going to enter the northing and the easting. And for 12, it's uh, 9523.123. So it has the same northing as my other one, but the easting is definitely different. It's 80129.92.952. Whoops, 12.9. And this is going to be. Uh, a zero elevation, I don't have an elevation for it. So I'm going to put zero point zero zero. Now if you have an elevation for each one of your points, enter that. And I'm going to say OK. And yours, hopefully, will whistle. Uh, if it whistles, that just means it's accepting it. Sometimes the noise has been turned off of these, so yours may or may not whistle, but it should come back to the screen and you will see each entry that you have. And you probably want to take a look at that and verify, yes, I have all the data entered correctly for that one. Then to put in your third and fourth point, simply hit insert, uh, go through the process again, name it, then go to location, enter the north, east, elevation, Say OK, and a whistle, it'll appear, put in your fourth one. Once you have all four coordinates uh, of your traverse entered into your data collector, you're now ready to go outside. So now let's assume that we are outside, and you have a, a coil wire that comes with uh, uh, this data collector. And one end of this coil wire has this type of connector and it only fits in one location. And the other end is a small round connector that hooks into the underneath side or base of the total station, uh, which I can't really show you on the uh, screen, but the camera should be able to pick it up. And these are very delicate. They have gold pins in them, so they bend rather easily. So what you do is rotate that until it feels like it wants to fall in, and then you push it in until it clicks. To extract it, you simply pull on the silver ring that relaxes the keeper, and it'll pull out. Do not force that into the instrument. The next thing we want to do is, and I have to go back to the rotation here, sure that you can see the screen. Mm. At any rate, uh, you want to set the instrument to zero degrees, so you go to menu, one, zero, enter to hold. Now, further out, uh, and also you need to get your instrument on point and get it level. So you need to go through the entire process of leveling the instrument, getting it on point. Uh, connect the data collector to the instrument. There's also a metal tray that you can hang on the side of the tripod and rest the data collector in there and that way you don't have to handle the data collector other than to make entries. Then you set a prism up over one of your monuments that you're going to backside. And that needs to be on point and level as well. With the estimate set to zero degrees, you take a siding on that, get your crosshair centered to the center of that prism. 
And then back on the data collector, I'm doing this to uh, be able to make entries. So then we're going to close this job file. Next, we go to number three, survey. So the data collector and the instrument are connected via a wire. The instrument crosshair, or the instrument's uh, level on point the prism on the back side is on point and level. We have the instrument set to zero degrees. So now we're going to go to survey backside setup. Okay, hold. 